I'm really excited to try this place. Uh, Doc did have us leave church across the street 20 minutes early, I think, uh, before we before it was done. So we get a spot. Here's your lies, right? You're speaking in tongues. Like a serpent. Close with a circle. Voldemort. They have the traditional southern glasses here. Very excited about this. They are a little smaller. This is the size of my hand. This is the size of the glass. I do have big That's hands. Big ass hands. <laughs> I'm a normal sized person's hand. We have the traditional uh, barbecue cutlery. These are smaller too. Okay, they're kind of like play knives or tiny. I've heard from several people that this place is very good. I have to, I've stopped trusting California for barbecue, but this place is Texas and California, so it's supposed to be everything and more. You got lemonade? Yes. Thank you. The sweet tea is an immediate indicator um, of the quality of the barbecue restaurant. If the tea is sweet, the food will be good. If the tea is not sweet, it's purely imitation. So. If the tea is sweet, it must be me. Okay, so it tastes like what they did was... Use Lipton iced tea. It is sweet tea. Like it is tea that is sweet. And that's an improvement because most places just don't have sweet tea. It's not, they didn't know how to join it together right. They didn't, they didn't like, or they didn't mix it together in the right machine. So it's like, oh, you have tea that is sweet. But it's not like that McDonald's eating diabetes with one sip. But I'll try it. It's good enough. Let's see how the barbecue tastes. No, rate it out of one to 10. Oh, Keith, Keith Lewis. One to 10? Six and a half, it's a six. A snack. So today, we're gonna rate lemonade, this yellow, one to 10, from, I don't remember the name of this restaurant. It's not Whiskey Wednesday. Whiskey Wednesday. I don't think that's the name of the place. It is we're gonna try it anyway. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you go, are you okay? <laughs> so I was trying to do the keys where he's like, when he really likes something from all his eyes, I did not really like it, so how do I roll my eyes down? Hold on. Um, I'll give that a three. I do oh. not recommend. How's the staff with Chick-fil-A's? To, to, to Chick-fil-A's? Don't, don't just respect uh -oh. it like that. Okay. Oh, yeah. Wow, okay, get the tip. All right. <laughs> yeah, scale of one to two. Oh, oh, oh. So we can't, we can't put this on YouTube yeah, no more. <laughs> What's that mean? Yeah, well, scale of one to ten. What's that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? Like, I would say a ten. Is it a ten? A ten? Wow. So hold on, hold on. That is not a ten reaction. I'm enjoying it. I, I was raised in Texas, right? So if I put this in my mouth, mm. it better be. It better it's be Texas. Be it better be Texas. It's good. You should try it. In the water. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, but it's like hey, God, the people work here. The bread. <laughs> it's like a six. Uh, it, really? it lines up. It lines up. It lines Chloe up. Uh, it lines up with the sweet tea. Wait, where are you from? Uh, I'm from the California. Yo, your name as well. Erica. Okay, let's see. Erica. 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 Oh, no, wait, Doctor. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll give it a seven. A seven? Okay. I give it an eight and a half. I would give it an eight lowest. You, okay, you said ten. Okay. Right, 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 but that's lowest is an eight. Yeah. I'll do an eight. Right, the lowest I feel like it deserves an eight. Eight across the board, all right. Mustache man here. Uh, you're going to rate what they say is uh, the sweet honey cornbread. From a box. It's a good box. It's a fantastic <laughs> box. It always is. <laughs> I almost made a joke at church. Like, anything you desire, the Lord desires for you. And it's like, the Lord wants me to have this. Something else. This little, the little crust they got on the top, that's pretty good. Peppery, the peppery.
What's up, low gang? Okay, yeah, 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 I got you. What's up, low gangsters? Um, how close are you getting? Are you getting some? Oh, sorry. Why? Why? We're wide. Hi. Um, I, I, I accepted a Facebook Marketplace ad for a, a camera operator, so I'm here with the Low Gang. Uh, so anyways, guys, today we're gonna, we're gonna go on stage and we're gonna um, improvise. Yeah. Um, the stripper. Oh. So, whatever, like, it was so Yes, like, and. <laughs> <laughs> my heart is in my butt! And they're like, oh, yeah. Nice. Very good. Ready? Wait, they're coming. Wait, wait. I was like, wow. I was like, you want to see my nice tail? Good job. No, it's over. You know, we have more things. The thing we always do. Where are we? What are you about? How are you feeling? We are in Los Angeles, California. Oh, wow. Really broad. She went so broad. We are about to perform our first surgery. She's so good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> On who? Oh, my hamster. Your hamster? No. Oh, okay. That's his dad. It's and yes and Brandy. Brandy. Keep working on it. How are you feeling? I'm feeling. Back to daily vlogs. I'm feeling nervous. <laughs> so good. I'm feeling lit after. Okay. And yeah, I'm just really excited to um, train some alligators. Amanda Page, how are you guys feeling? Like, Where so are we? I'm looking at that's so good. Ooh. Amen. Yeah. Spray it. And if everybody could grab hands for a minute. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Grab hands. Let's grab hands and pray. Yes. Use us as a channel Oops. to be of optimal service to the people that are watching us. Yes. May they laugh and enjoy themselves. Yeah. May we enjoy ourselves and be fully present in the moment. I will, not ours, we done. Amen. 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 Three. One, Amen. two, three. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Uh, uh. You know, it doesn't have to be fake, but just enjoy what I'm saying. Stop it. I'm getting B-roll. Um, Stop. Yeah. Yeah. This is for his mom. Go for the air cartel. Um, <laughs> sorry, sorry. No. Mama made me back my You stressing? Give me your ear. Good. No. I'm stressing. There's a zoo outside, literally. <laughs> <laughs> like barking. I like it when they do that. Are you guys done? What? At the bar? We went to Dave's Hot Chicken. That yeah, place yeah, is yeah, so yeah. mid. I was gonna interview Paige and Hash. How did you feel after the show's over? Everybody tell Paige congratulations. Congratulations! Oh, wow! Wow, you're so shy. How do you feel? Oh, I feel bashful right now. All right, well, you're on camera, so tell the truth. Anything you say will be recorded forever, and people will always really nervous. Okay. I like almost can I say Is that what I smelled? That was so crazy. I don't say on my channel, can I say on your I guess so. I don't smell. Yeah, I don't have to know. I can say it, but I don't say it. I don't say it. That's okay, we'll bleep it out. That's so good. I think I just bleeped Just gonna keep saying Yeah, just gonna keep saying Somebody else saying That way it's not you. I'll say it on the side. Alright, go ahead. Um, I felt like I was going to my pants. Wait, I don't cuss either. I kept saying it. How do you feel? I don't know. I have to pee. I don't know what to say. This is how it feels? Yeah, this is how it feels. I want to take my clothes off, but I don't What's know why. What's your favorite part of the show? Oh, my favorite part of the show was definitely just being on stage with so many amazing people and the crowd. <laughs> they are paid. They are. Paige and Sarah are my favorite. I didn't like that guy. Okay, I called Jennings ugly like six times on stage, and he's mad at me for calling him ugly. It was for the bit. Uh, the show was great. It felt great. It was good. Nice, refreshing time. First time being on stage. Probably definitely since COVID, but like since high school even. I did stuff in college, but that was weird. It was very fun. And Jennings came and supported. I was there. Kendall was there in spirit. Yeah, Kendall Jennings' sister was there in spirit. Yeah. 
So, thank you guys. Today is Friday, and just and just like that, um, and just like that, I got some bad family news. Uh, and it's not just that. I mean, that's not how life life happens. Like it's not like I don't want to give this idea that like. I don't want to give this idea that like uh, stuff is stuff is good until it's not, you know. Like I don't want, <clears throat> I don't want you guys to feel like don't get your hopes up because it always something always happens, you know. Like, so I really shouldn't even say like just like that. It's just maybe even purely for the sake of viewing this video to have the contrast, I decided to include it and omit other good things that have happened. But to just give you a more full picture, anyways. Um, this has been a weird week. I don't know how this vlog. I don't know how this vlog is gonna turn out. I hope. I hesitate because I didn't want to really go into it. But my uh, my aunt, my cousin, passed away. It's not like me and her were the closest or anything. But I love my dad a lot, and it was his sister. And it was his only sister that he has, and I've only seen my dad cry once, a lot, and that's when my uh, my great grandma died, who basically raised him. Um, so, honestly, thinking of him going through this, sad. Well, I'm on the other side of the country, uh, in California. My family's in Florida. Uh, makes me sad. Tears me up. Um, And I was listening to a song by Lucas Graham, which made me cry. Because with everything in life, you get your uppies and your downies. And I'm not gonna reduce this moment to, oh, sometimes stuff happens good, sometimes stuff happens bad. But, you know. I don't know about you guys. I play, I like get a lot of my emotions out. We get a lot of my emotions out through uh, music and instruments. I think I wear this all the time. I love this hoodie. I love this beanie. And plus my hair is always crazy because I need to cut it. And I just hate going to a haircut since I was a kid. I do this thing where whenever life gets boring or a little bit like stale, and I say stale in a sense of I think I just get a little bit bored. And when I get bored, I get a little anxious. I'll deal with that someday, but I start like shooting my shot and sending messages, hitting up, doing all the things I should have done a long time ago. I'm just like, I can't, I hit this thing of like, I can't just sit here and deal with I can't just sit here and deal with whatever the problem is, so instead I uh, 
So instead, I will make new situations to entertain myself with that are connected to people. I don't know why I told you that or what it means, but uh... I will stick around for now. Now, ooh.